the 2024 edition of the Hot Lion Stakes to be competed on Saturday, March 23, 2024, has attracted 10 starters. The Hot Lion Stakes is widely regarded as the first major three-year-old preparation race for the classic events later in the year. This non-winners of two call is restricted to fillies only, at a distance of six furlongs. Quick Gallop J. Hay and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper, remind viewers of the victories of the 10 starters in this year's Hot Line Stakes. This presentation is done in draw order. They're off and uh, racing. Himaya gets a good break, tacking toward, towards the near side. Also there too, that's Lucy in the sky. So Himaya and Lucy in the sky. Himaya just the leader from Lucy in the sky. So the stable companion has this one. Rocola comes next, then comes coming on. That's indestructible, but Lucy in the sky looks to have the overall lead. And it's Lucy in the sky in front. It's Lucy in the sky. Himaya trying to get to Lucy in the sky. It's Lucy in the sky in front. Also coming on indestructible, but it's uh, action pack Rain Lutzen. And Lucy in the sky beating Himaya. Then comes indestructible Rocola and just coming in. Here the jour. Ready for a start, race number two. They're off and racing. Oh, just coming out of the gates as Kaylin Melody has blown the start as Crypto Girl blasts into an early lead as they head toward the Ford. It's Crypto Girl in front of Valley of Love, right there too, and coming around that's Princess Catalia that goes down into second. Then comes Valley of Love. Dove is right there too, and racing at the back of the field from that bad start. That's a Kaylin Melody, but Crypto Girl has sprinted clear of these, and Crypto Girl is the writing could be on the wall, about six or seven, maybe eight lengths in front of Valley of Love, chasing in second. Princess Catalia comes next. Dove is on the outside and still at the back of the field. That's Kaylin Melody. They're, at, they're coming to the a furlong pole and it is a crypto girl all alone crypto girl on an afternoon stroll in the sunny side stakes crypto girl has made short work of these and crypto girl and el champo omar walker double digits win in the second it's crypto girl beating valley of love then comes a dove and a kaylin melody at the back early. A Plum got a good start, taking off quickly and rushes through to get that lead. A Lady Lauren is a length and a nose tickling tail back in second. Rachel Manning races in third, possibly five lengths off that lead. Brownie Brown making ground on the rail. Rosetta niggled along and asked to get closer. Tee off joining on the outside. Himaya races next ahead of Boz Marie and Valley of Love at the back of the field. They've left the half mile, they arrive at the 716th and run into the final part of the turn and it is a plum out in front by a length and a tail. Lady Lauren continues to chase from second. Here's Rachel Manning now making some late progress, five off that lead. They charge away now, flashing past the 516th and a plum will bring them into the lane. It is a plum out in front, a Lady Lauren now cutting the corner and a Lady Lauren has now struck that lead, a plum fades back. It is Lady Lauren out in front and asked to make some progress driving up now toward the uh, final furlong. Lady Lauren out in front. Rachel Manning has a lot to do from there. Rosetta now begins a late charge, but up front, it's all Lady Lauren by seven, maybe eight. Inside the final 16th, Lady Lauren completely in control, large and in charge. Lady Lauren alone wins it from Rosetta. Tight. Could be Himaya just over Rachel Manning. Brownie Brown is fifth. They're off for the first. Lil Maggie misses it with another mission. Sipping in sunshine now plays catch up. Narissa's angel goes for it. Hit and run right alongside. Just a head separates them. Ken Seer racing on the outside. Divine Diva making ground on the rail. Another mission has now picked up and needs five lengths to get to those leaders as they leave the half mile and run toward the 7 16th. 
A break back to sipping on sunshine. Rackdom is there, and at the back of the field, it's a Roman princess. They blast past the three. They're on the run to the 516th, and Nerissa's angel sets the fractions and leads up by some three lengths. Another mission with a purpose now begins to cut into that lead right there near the rail and making ground. That's hit and run as they're into the top of the lane, but can they catch Nerissa's angel? That's the question. The stick comes out in the right hand, and Nerissa's angel and O'Shea Nugent are away from them. Here now is sipping on sunshine, beginning a run on the outside, but still, Nerissa's angel battling to hold the lead, sipping on sunshine, switch down against the rail, it is Nerissa's angel with that lead, sipping on sunshine, trying desperate to get to the leader, but they won't catch Nerissa's angel, Nerissa's angel wins it close between Roman Princess, sipping on sunshine, then can see her, rack them is fifth. Four and a half for along the trip, 900 meters straight. They're off and racing. Breaking in the middle, that's come home to me, right on the far side prominent. That is Fast and Furious Links. Also there, that's Simaya, and left out of it, it's Bancroft. As they make their way toward the uh, a three for long point, passing the three, and it is Fast and Furious Link. Come home to me. These are the one. Also there, that's Simaya traveling well and left out of it. It's Bancroft. They're at the uh, two furlong point in the Anthony Tyson Trophy. And it is Fast and Furious Links along with Come Home to Me. These are the two that will decide it. Left back a bit, that's Simaya. And Bancroft has never been in it. They're coming to the furlong pole and Come Home to Me. Now points and fa Fast and Furious Link and Come Home to Me. We'll come home a winner today in the Anthony Tyson Trophy. Come Home to Me, coasting in for an effortless win. Come home to me by about six. Fast and Furious Link did well for second. Imai is third. And Bancroft completes a free. And they're racing in the BGLC Toba Jamboree Sprint. Not an especially quick beginning for Queen of Soul, but Halladine's on the go with Fast and Furious Lynx, who poaches a two-length advantage in a hurry. Up to the outside, Queen of Soul is now rushed into second. Rosetta is at the rail. In between horses, Warrior Stomp shuffled to fourth. Length and a half back to Hamaya and Matuso as last of all as they swing to the far turn. Fast and Furious Link, sharp so far. Into the turn on top by two, Queen of Soul second. Rosetta moving up the inside and up into second now. These top three have seven on our fourth running Warrior Stomp. Matuso's a long way behind with Hamaya as they run to the top of the stretch. This big favorite, Queen of Soul, better hurry up as Fast and Furious Lynx at the 5 16 on top two and a half. The stablemate, Rosetta, takes up the slack second and they're at the top of the stretch. Here comes Rosetta to engage Fast and Furious Lynx. Halladine throws across at Fast and Furious Furious Lynx. She's still the leader. Rosetta runs at her on the outside. Second, Queen of Souls been defeated. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Jason DaCosta, one, two. Fast and Furious Lynx responding to challenges. Rosetta one more time. Rosetta starts to get to her. Fast and Furious Lynx driven out. Fast and Furious Lynx digging in. On the outside, Rosetta's at a time. Fast and Furious Lynx went down the road. Rosetta was second from Matuso, who was up for third. This big favorite, Queen of Soul, floundered late. She finished fourth. Field in line and they're off right away. Breaking on the far side and tacking across, that's Banadura. Also prominent in the middle, that is a blue sensation. So Banadura looks to have the overall lead from blue sensation. Banadura running on them off their legs. Blue sensation, switch toward the inside. Then comes Lucy in the sky and left at the back of the field. That's Imaya, but it's Banadura still charging the course. Banadura coming to the furlong pole, being chased by blue sensation. Banadura and Abigail Abel begins to come away from these. And Banadura in Impressive in victory in the first. Banadura, first time of asking wins from Blue Sensation. Then comes uh, Lucy in the Sky and Imaya. They're off and racing. Getting a flying star, that's Francis. Also on the near side, uh, that is uh, Himaya. So Himaya, Francis. Also there, that's Buttercup Early. Miss Cherry and uh, Rosetta running a private race on the uh, far side. They're spread right across the track. Many chances as they come toward the uh, three furlong point. And it is over on the far side. 
Miss Cherry and uh, Rosetta towards the near side, Himaya and uh, Francis. Left out a bit, that's Buttercup. They come towards the two furlong pole, and it is Miss Cherry. And on the far side, uh, Rosetta it, in the middle, Francis coming on nicely. It's still Miss Cherry looks to have the overall lead. Francis coming forward to tackle Miss Cherry, but Miss Cherry begins to get away from these. And Miss Cherry and the champion jockey, Dane Dawkins, begins to skip out of the grass of this field. Miss Cherry in front and strolling out easily. Will win by about five lengths in front of Francis. Then comes uh, Rosetta. Looks like Buttercup is fourth. The starter sends them on their way. They're off. Immeasurable Joy gets a great start and quickly dashes into that lead towards center course. Brownie Brown is chasing just in behind. Oh, so smart in the yellow cap, more toward the far side. Kensia is also running pretty quickly in the early exchanges. And near to us, that's a plum as they sort themselves out and make their way now inside the final quarter. Immeasurable Joy right under the stands with Oh So Smart. Over toward the far side, that's Kensia and Dane Dawkins. These three almost in the line as they charge up now toward the final furlong. And Oh So Smart has taken charge. Kensia chasing. Immeasurable Joy has faded back in behind horses. Over toward the far side, that's a Brownie Brown. But it's Oh So Smart and terrific Tevin Foster running away to win the starters trophy. Brownie Brown is second. Kensia is third. A Plum is fourth. Close between Warrior Stomp and immeasurable joy. Uncle Sims is ready. They're off and racing. A bold shadow, the one left at the back of the field as a blue sensation rushes to that lead, also rushing up on the outside, that's tee off. As they go towards the six furlong point, tee off and Robert Halliday makes the running. Bold Shadow coupling up nicely, passing the six in second. Right there in third, that's a blue sensation. Then comes a fear and racing at the back of the field, Amma. They head toward the five and it is making the runnings. It is tee off, about three lengths in front of Bold Shadow racing in second. A fear goes down into third, right against the rail. That is a Blue sensation right at the back of the field. That's Amma there. Head toward the half mile and tee off still in front. About a length and a half in front. Racing on the inside. That's blue sensation right there too. That is a, a fear. As they head toward the a three furlong point and it's still tee off. Now joined by a stable companion. Blue sensation. Blue sensation points with that lead. A tee off right there too. Here comes a fear right against the rail, cutting the corner there at the top of the lane and it's blue sensation in front. Tee off looks to be tiring right against the rail. That's a fear but it is breaking the running. Blue sensation in front. Here comes a fear up on the inside. Blue sensation is still in front and traveling nicely at the furlong pole. Blue sensation and the sneaky fox. Radish Roman and begins to pull away from these. It's Blue Sensation sprinting off, sprinting clear in the end. Blue Sensation comfortably in the end by about six and a half length or maybe seven length. A fear is second. Then comes uh, Amma and uh, Tee Off and uh, Bold Shadow. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.